Welcome back. We're here with Deepa from Indian Table. What are we making? Hi. So we're making a fresh green mango chutney today with poppadoms. Um, mm. Mangoes are in season right now, so I thought what better way than to demonstrate how to make this quick chutney. Now, the recipe is online, and if you look at the recipe, you see there's a use of quite a few spices, which we don't have to use, um, but I have them, so I'm going to use them yes. anyway. Okay. Oh, so um, I'm going to heat some oil, canola oil, and by adding the spices to the hot oil, what it does, it just flavors the oil, which will then lend mm. its flavor to whatever dish we're cooking in it. Oh. So I'm going to um, add one cinnamon mm. stick there. Oh, nice. Wow. Um, I'm going to add, for a bit of spice, these dried chilies are great because they just infuse the oil with a little bit of a kick, but not too much. But they are potent, so make sure you tell your guests um, that it may be in there. <laughs> I think I made <laughs> that Unless mistake. You want to I made that yeah. mistake last time. Oh, did you? Okay, I yeah. Made a few let's too not many. Do that. And I put a couple of cloves in there. Um, if you want, you can stir, stir yeah. those in. Um, and then I'm going to add some fenugreek seeds. What are these? These are fenugreek seeds. This is what's going to give you the Indian curry flavor that a lot of people mm. can't seem to <laughs> identify. But be, be careful, they pop. <laughs> and then some must, and they're supposed to pop to release their flavors. And oh, then okay. we're going to add the green mango there. Oh, that's the mango. Mm. Yeah, that's green grated mango. Wow. And it's unripe. So the reason why we're using this one is it gives a bit of texture and a bit of sourness to the chutney. And you see how that cinnamon stick has opened yeah. up there? Oh so that's going to release the flavor. It's going to be really, really good. Deepa, can I ask a silly question? No silly is question. Is green mango separate from regular mango, or is this just mango that has yeah. not Yeah, this is what the green yellow. mango yeah, looks like. It's ah. firm. OK. So we want to use that. If you can't get hold of it, a ripe one is fine, but just adjust your sugar accordingly, because we're going to add some sugar to this now. Okay. Now, this chutney is delicious. It can be served with mm. fish, um, chips, whatever you, you like. So some turmeric to give it a bit of color and a touch of salt. And it already smells delicious. It yeah, it's yeah. really good. good. Yeah, and you see how simple it is. And sometimes I will also change out the fruit. So I will use apples when it's fall oh. and it makes oh, delicious nice. chutney there. It's very fresh, very healthy. Um, and again, if you don't have all the spices, don't worry too much about that. So that would pretty much cook for, say, 10 to 15 minutes until it turns jammy, but you still have a bit of texture left um, of the chutney. And then ultimately, it will end up like this one that I made earlier. Um, can you see how it's kind of reduced mm -hmm. down? Yeah. 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 Um, and that can be stored yeah. in a jar um, for a couple of weeks even in your refrigerator if it lasts that long. Oh, Do you wow. serve it okay. cold or hot? Um, cold. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You serve it cold. It's great. Mm. Um, and you can leave out the spice and the heat if you want to. So the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to make poppadoms. Poppadoms are these crispy lentil wafers that many mm. of you may be familiar with mm -hmm. at your local Indian restaurants. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to actually make these at home. So they pretty much start off like this when you buy them. They're actually made out of lentil flour and infused, well in this case, infused with some cumin seeds there. Mm. And they're rolled out very thin and then sun-dried for up to a week. And they oh, come from India. Wow. Oh. And there are women who've made fantastic businesses out of doing this. Oh. So I really like to support them. Yes. Um, so I'll show you how easy it is. So these come in packets. And then you just heat some oil up. And then you put them in the hot oil, like so. And they bubble up. Oh, wow. wow. And then I'm going to fold them over. And these are not spicy at all. I'm going to fold them over into oh. a quarter like that. It looks that. like they don't take long at all. No. Not at all. Now, there's various ways of cooking this. I've used hot oil, but you can also use a toaster oven, microwave, or if you have wow. a hot flame, you can even use a hot flame. So basically, there's your papadum. Oh, and it looks so chutney. easy. Yeah. So I'm all about trying to simplify Indian food for you so you can see how easy it is. Um, and that's basically your dish today. That's Lovely. Phenomenal. Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't, don't be afraid to dig in. Now I do yeah, want to I'm ask not afraid. You, <laughs> Deepa, you, um, you have very, very popular <laughs> cooking <laughs> classes sure. that you do, oh and it's on your website, of course, at sure. the Indian Table. Oh. I have made the mistake <laughs> in the past of waiting too long, and uh -huh. they sell out quickly. They so do. Yes. What, what types of classes do you have coming up? So this summer, I was doing a culinary trip to India. So we're going to different parts of India and um, exploring the regional variations in the foods that are cooked and created there. Um, they got sold out pretty quick, so I've introduced the basics of Indian cuisine in August, um, and I have about three seats available for that. And they're smaller classes, so you get more of a one-on-one -on -one, mm. um, class, and then you also get a hands-on experience of mixing the spices, rolling, and at the end, we all eat together, and you get to eat whatever you've made that night. Oh, so wow. it's wow. always a lot of fun. Oh, wonderful. Yes. We also know that you have released your own custom blend of I spices. I have, the 
masala. Yes, yes which, which we can very find excited. where, uh, how to purchase that yes. by going to Deepa's website, The Indian good. Table. Yes, and also at the farmer's market. I'm there once a month. Still. Wonderful. Oh, nice. Well, delicious food. It smells delicious. Um, Maria, we did steal you away from your surprise date from your husband, Will, who is waiting across the studio. I'll so we're him. We'll have the Indian food next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let you join Will. We also want to remind you that Friday Fest kicks off this weekend at the Van Wezel. This is a free event this Friday, and the music headliner is our very own Chantel Norman and Ja, ja Movement. movement. And so it's five to nine. Yes, yes. five to nine, and, and uh, say hello to the ABC table. Yeah, Linda be will be five. there. So yes. come by and say hello. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to enjoy some more great Indian food. And um, I want to take another look at your spice wheel. Absolutely, I know you love the spice wheels. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful. So, and this, you, we can fill this with local spices. Absolutely. Or you can even fill it with like other ingredients too. I mean, don't limit yourself to just spices, but oh, I mean, it's perfect this is for that. So good. You know, right. we're gonna Not dig too spicy, in. right? No. no. Take no. some time. Excellent. Enjoy the Sun Coast view. And uh, for our surprise romantic couple, Will and Maria, we hope that they are enjoying their date, courtesy of Rame Recognition. Dot net. All right. Take some time. Enjoy the Suncoast view. You like that?